Joe, do you believe in momentum? And if so, how much do you think this ball club has right now? Well, you know, momentum a lot of times de depends on your starting pitching. And, um, you know, CC, I thought, threw a pretty good game here the last time. And, and CC's used to these big moments. So, I mean, we feel good about him on the mound. But our guys are confident. And we know, and we know we're facing a good team. And we know we're facing a, a, a tough pitcher. But, I mean, you go through that during the course of the season, a lot of games. And, you know, we've had three must wins. And um, we've been able to come out on top um, on all three of them. And hopefully tomorrow, fourth one, we can do it too. Other questions for Joe? Uh, right here, Brendan. Joe, is there anything you learned from facing Kluber last time, the success you guys had against him? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, we've seen him extremely sharp, and I think we caught him on a night that he wasn't sharp. So, you know, you hope that you catch him on another night that he's not sharp. We, um, he's extremely talented. You know, there's a good chance that he's going to be Cy Young this year. Um, we didn't do a whole lot against him the first two starts um, that we faced him. I thought we did a little more the second start and, and obviously more the third start. So hopefully the trend continues. To your left, Joe. Mike. Joe, when you look back at what happened in game two um, and all the controversy that followed, how much do you look at this game as potential redemption for yourself personally to, to come back from that? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's really important. And, you know, for the guys in, in the, 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 you know, the organization, the ownership, management, fan base, you, you really want to move on. And, um, you know, we got back to the spot by battling and, and, and fighting, and, and um, we're going to need to do it again. So it's a really important game. In the back right, Joe. Hey, Tom. Joe, it looks like they might have Encarnacion back. How much has he changed that lineup? Well, I mean, obviously he changes it uh, because we have a lefty going too. I mean, that's one of the things, and he's dangerous, and we know how dangerous he is. And, you know, you can look at – Edwin, he's probably been one of the best RBI guys in, the, in our league for the last three or four years. I mean, that's who he is. He knows how to drive and run. So he changes their lineup. To your right, Joe. Billy? Uh, yeah, Joe, how, uh, what, are your, what are your plans for using Chapman tomorrow night? Just in, also kind of within the context of the whole bullpen. Well, I, you know, I think he's probably available for a couple innings if I need him. Um, you know, the, I mean, trying to draw up a scenario, how are you going to use your bullpen – it's it's determined on the game and how it's going and, and what you have to do and what's available and how how much distance you get from your starter and, and the score and, and matchup. So, I mean, I don't think that that you can really say, well, this is how we're going to do it because the game determines how you're going to do it. Uh, everyone should be available. You know, the only guy that I probably wouldn't use would be Seve, and everyone else is probably available. In the center, Pete, the microphone's right behind you. Joe, would you anticipate putting more or less the same lineup out there that you did against Kluber the first time? Yeah, I mean, we're, I'm going to continue to look at it, but yeah, there's a pretty good chance. Other questions? Dan, we'll get you the mic. What about uh, Dellen, just given how he looked yeah. last night? Is that just a one-game thing? or do Yeah, you... I mean, you look at the other two games he's pitched, he's pitched really well. So, uh, you know, I look at it as a one-game thing, and – you know, there's a good chance we're going to need him tomorrow, and he's going to have to pitch well. So you wouldn't hesitate to use him in a no, important I mean, spot? No, I, I, I mean, I still believe in Dell. I mean, I believe in all of our guys. I mean, we wouldn't be at this point if they hadn't had success along the way. So uh, let's just see where we're at. To your left, Joe. Andrew? Joe, you just said there's a good chance you're going to need to use Dellen. Do you mean like if the sixth, seventh, eighth inning, you would go to Dellen? No, I'm just saying you you get in a game like this, and it could be really close, and it could be extra innings, and there's a lot of things that could happen in a game like this. Um, you know, we've seen some pretty tight games in in the four that we've had. So, I mean, there's always a good chance that he's going to pitch. To your right, Joe. Joel. Joe, you said uh, the likelihood of the same lineup at this point. Is Holiday not a, a possibility just because he hasn't played a lot and you don't want to feed him to someone like Kluber in a game yeah, like I this? Yeah, I mean, it, it's something that I'm going to take some some time to look over, Joel. I, I, you know, I can guarantee you that eight of the nine guys that we had in there are going to be in there. As far as the DH, there's just some things I'm going to continue to look at and, and make a decision. I have not made a decision on that spot. But the other eight are going to be the same. Other questions? Brian? Joe, on your flight here, did you take any time to kind of reflect at how unlikely it was that you guys would be able to force your way back to Cleveland? No, I really didn't. Um, 
you know, I tried to relax and I and I watched a, a movie, um, <laughs> you know, on, on the flight. And uh, you know, and, and you know, I I think that probably that when I get a chance to turn my mind off, I try to because I've reflected a lot probably in the last six or seven days. So uh, when I do get a chance, I turn it off. Anything else for Joe? Ken? Just have to follow up. What movie? Um, I, I, Megan. Um, it was about the lady that was the war hero brought her dog. Um, oh. Adopted Megan Levy. It's, it's an outstanding movie if you haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anthony. Oh, all right. So, and I know I'm not a movie critic. I do like movies. I don't see a ton of them, but I think it's outstanding and it's a little bit emotional too. <laughs> Anything else? Bruce? We'll get to the mic. The resilience of this team, is it something about the makeup, or is it the fact that they're young and they just really have a short-term memory? Uh, it's probably both. Uh, you know, I think some of it is the makeup of it, definitely, and, and the leadership in that room. But I think the belief that a lot of our young players and the energy that they bring every day um, is part of that. It, and... You know, I can look at times during the, the season, you know, where we've been resilient, where, you know, we went to Boston for that four-game series and lost the first game. I think it was a tough game, and then we bounced back and win the second one. And we've been through a lot of this during the course of the season. I think, you know, most teams are going to go through those type of things, and I think it's helped everyone involved. Uh, to your left, Joe Brennan. Joe, in the DH spot, you said you'd be weighing some things. What are the things that you're weighing? <laughs> you know, you kind of look at the quality of at-bats that guys have had during the course of a season, a couple seasons off of Kluber, um, how they're swinging now. You know, you look at Matt Holiday hasn't played in eight days. I mean, that's kind of difficult. Um, so it's just kind of trying to measure uh, and, you know, trying to predict what type of stuff Kluber's going to have tomorrow, which isn't easy to do. So it's just, you know, if there's one thing that's weighing on my mind, that's probably what I'm thinking about the most at this point because I know the other eight guys. I know who's starting. I know my bullpen is really everyone is available. It's that one spot. To your left, Joe. Andrew? Joe, I know you just gave all those reasons, but won't it really be more of a gut decision considering that you looked at the video before Kluber started the last game and there's no new video? You know what I mean? So. Right, you know, and I think our DH got one at bat off him. <laughs> Um, so th that makes it interesting. So you look at some of the advance during the course of this year and last year, and I'll make a decision. To your right, Joe, Dave. Joe, you guys have played in three elimination games in a week, <laughs> which is a lot, yeah. putting on the line. D does that help? I mean, does this team gain confidence from that? Do the guys, I don't know if they've ever worried about it, but, I mean, what, what does it do for a, a team when it goes into yet another one? You know, I, I really believe you do gain confidence. I mean, that's my hope because you've been in three of them and we've been in some spots. You know, the first one we were in, we were down three to nothing before you could really, you know, think about what was going on. Um, and we'd replaced our starter. So I think, you know, it should give them confidence. I think they feel good about themselves, and I think they're excited for tomorrow. Take a couple last ones. Billy, to your right, Joe. Was, is there anything that you saw from Kluber the other night that you think for him might, might be something that's uh, easy, relatively easy for him to address and clean up? Well, I'm sure that, you know, during the course of his career, he's had some, some rocky starts that he's a Obviously, he's adjusted pretty quick because when you look at his record every year, it's pretty darn good in his ERA, and it doesn't seem like it's something that usually has a whole lot of carryover. Anthony, to your right, Joe. So you haven't had Canely that long, but you've gone to him in some pretty big spots. When did you first sense that, that he had more than just the big arm, that he could handle those spots? Pretty quickly once we got him. You know, I put him in some situations and talked about how I would use him um, – where I, you know, it was possible that I would bring him in the middle innings and middle of innings, not necessarily to start an inning. And, you know, the one thing that we weren't sure about was multiple innings with him. That was the one thing we weren't quite sure about because he didn't do it a lot in Chicago this year. Um, and he had had a lot of success in Chicago. And sometimes you wonder if, you know, the reason a guy's having a ton of success is he's not being used multiple innings, but he's responded pretty well to that lately. So, you know, over these two months, we've learned a lot about him. Last question or two. Dan, did you have something? No. Uh, we'll wrap up here with Brendan. The other day you said you might stay away from Robertson out of fear you might injure him. 
uh, is this stuff wasn't where you wanted it to be. Is he a full go for you tomorrow? Yeah, I, I think the two days off probably helped him. You know, I think, you know, part of his, you know, maybe, you know, when you look at the last couple outings with him, he's, he's still been pretty darn good. But it probably, some of it goes back to the 52 pitches. And, and we've gotten pretty far away from that. I have not used him more than 22 or 23 since then. And I think he's probably be pretty fresh tomorrow. Uh, Joe, thanks very much. Appreciate yep. it.